Well, that was stupid. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most disappointing animated movie sequels. Onward, Chauncey, to the highest room of the tallest tower, where my princess awaits rescue from her handsome Prince Charming. For this list, we'll be looking at what we consider to be the most disappointing sequels to popular animated movies, whether they were released theatrically or straight to video. Number 10. The Land Before Time Sequels Dear sweet little foot, do you remember the way to the Great Valley? Since 1994, 13, yes, 13 The Land Before Time sequels have been released, and they are all terribly mediocre. When you're big, you can do anything you want to do. Wow. All the rules that grown-ups make, they don't apply to you. Not you to can you. push in all the puddles, gulp and slurp and swig. Oh, wow. The original Land Before Time was a good little movie. The animation was beautiful and the characters were charming, which made for a great time in front of the television for younger viewers. It was evident that a lot of care and thought went into the movie, which is more than we can say for its run-of-the-mill sequels. While the characters are still charming, the heavy themes and beautiful writing from the first movie are all but absent, replaced by goofy sing-along numbers and boring, childish stories. Yep, 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 the time is near. Our brothers and sisters will soon them to stay away from your rear end. <laughs> Number 9. Despicable Me 3 Love it or hate it, the Despicable Me franchise has been at the forefront of pop culture for what feels like forever. While the first two movies in the franchise felt like breaths of fresh air for animated comedies, the third installment definitely left us a little underwhelmed. Critics were quick to label the movie as being too safe, and clearly more of a corporate product than a movie with anything to really say. Now that's what I call acting! <laughs> Let's go, Clive! We've got a giant robot waiting! <laughs> Other than a few new highlights, including Trey Parker as supervillain Balthazar Brat, Despicable Me 3 ended up retreading on old, tired ground, rather than finishing off the trilogy on a high note. Unfortunately, this one we can't blame on the minions. Don't take that tone with me! Number 8. The Jungle Book 2 All you gotta do is look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your stress. There's nothing quite like a sequel to a 36-year-old movie to get kids excited. The Jungle Book 2 was originally going to be released direct to video, but Disney decided to release it to theaters in February 2003. Originally produced as a direct-to-video movie, a February release date? It was doomed from the beginning. You sure did, Ranjan. But it's gonna be kinda hard to finish the story now. But we all know how it ends. Audiences and critics alike agreed that the movie should never have been given a theatrical release, as it was far too short and the story was nothing but a pointless rehash of the original. Believe it or not, Disney, we can tell when little effort goes into your products. Wherever I wander. Where are you going? Wherever I roam. Oh yeah. I couldn't Number 7. The Secret of Nim 2, Timmy to the Rescue Yep, so this movie exists. While it's not very popular, The Secret of Nim is often considered by critics to be one of the greatest animated movies of all time. It was beautifully animated, but it also told a captivating and mature story which respected the intelligence of its audience. Its sequel was… well, we don't even really want to talk about it. It was created without any support from the original's director, Don Bluth, and well, duh. You've got to learn to listen. You always think you know better than everyone else. Gone was the dark and beautiful story, replaced with bright colors, degrade songs, poorly animated characters, and wacky sidekicks. What a travesty. So much 
much to say to you. So much to share with you. All I had is gone. Number six, Mulan two. Let's get down to business. The original Mulan is arguably one of Disney's most underappreciated movies. That said, the sequel certainly isn't doing its reputation any favors. While it isn't terrible by any means, it's probably the most mediocre thing you will ever watch. For one thing, it completely does away with the complex themes of the original to focus on the most cliché message in the history of children's stories. Follow your heart. First, I gotta work me up theme. You know, theme is everything. How about Rainbow of Memories? Huh? Nah, that's too junior prime. I've got it! The theme is Think Pink. The characters' nuances were also significantly downgraded for this movie, as they were all one-dimensional and painfully boring. But I think all uh, you and Princess with Oh, I could never. But it is our duty and our honor, although it can be a burden. Oh, I've said too much. Actually, that pretty much sums up the entire movie. Number five, Ice Age Collision Course. Let's be honest, the Ice Age series is melting faster than the ice caps. The first entry, released way back in 2002, was good fun. Its sequel, The Meltdown, was decent entertainment, we guess. But it all goes to crap after that. Collision Course is the worst offender yet, offering very little in terms of entertainment. The story and characters are painfully dull, and the jokes, if you can even call them that, fall flat every single time. We think they've about milked this cash cow for as long as they could. Aww, I remember when Manny and I used to be like that. Not me! Love them and leave them and take half of everything! That's my motto! It's time for these animals to go extinct. Number 4. The Return of Jafar This night has been quite rewarding. <laughs> we have never <laughs> stolen so much! We have gathered much loot tonight! This movie serves as the first direct-to-video Disney release, and it was created as the first episode of a subsequent TV series, so, you know. It's clear that little care and or money was put into this movie, as everything from the bland animation to the unremarkable songs just scream lazy. To make matters worse, the Simpsons' Dan Castellaneta replaced Robin Williams in the role of the genie, and while he is not terrible, there's simply no comparison. That bird was mean! Salt and want a cracker? Salt and want a cracker? Remember that? While the direct-to-video concept could have been interesting, Disney completely squandered its potential with the release of this generic trash. You'd be surprised what you can live through. <coughs> Number 3. The Lion King 2 – Simba's Pride If there's one Disney movie you absolutely do not touch, it's The Lion King. The original movie is now regarded as a masterpiece, filled with memorable characters, complex themes, and some of the best Disney songs ever produced. And then there's this sequel, which… Ugh. Wait! There's no mountain too great Hear the words and have faith While a few of the original voice actors returned for the sequel, it's painfully obvious that their hearts are not in it, and the movie's songs can't hold a candle to the original's classics. It's not completely irredeemable, but when compared to its timeless predecessor, it's a massive disappointment. Let's go home. All of us. Number 2. Shrek the Third Please! Please! Okay! Okay! But one night only. Ah! Thank you! Ah. What do you know? Oh, no. this is gonna be fun. We can stay up late, swapping manly stories, and in the morning, I'm making waffles. 
Has there ever been a bigger disappointment when it comes to theatrically released animated sequels? The first two Shrek movies were great fun, as they contained memorable characters and intelligently subverted various fairy tale conventions. We mean, who doesn't love Donkey and Puss in Boots? <laughs> Fear me if you dare. <laughs> Naturally, Paramount saw dollar signs and released a third movie, which ended up being painfully bland. The heart and charisma of the previous two movies were completely absent, replaced by countless unfunny digs at popular culture, which were told by lame characters. And maybe his first royal decree will be to banish everyone who ever picked on him. That's right, I'm looking at you, jousting team. And Gwen, oh Gwen, I've always loved you. Ew. But hey, it made $800 million at the box office, so mission success. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable or dishonorable mentions. Tarzan 2. Uh, hello? What do you think you're doing? Wow! Because whatever it is, you sure ain't doing it too good. Is it still coming? Hello! <laughs> the Little Mermaid 2, Return to the Sea. See that? Oblivion! The Lego Movie 2, the second part. Good morning, Apocalypse ah, Almost ran me over. Classic. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Cars 2 I never properly introduced myself. Finn Mac Missile, British Intelligence. Remember when we asked if there was a bigger disappointment than when it came to theatrically released sequels? Yeah, never mind, we have our answer right here. Cars was certainly not one of Pixar's finest moments, but it was still decent entertainment. Cars 2, on the other hand, is easily Pixar's worst movie, and it is their only movie to have a rotten score on Rotten Tomatoes. Nearly everything about this movie, aside from its animation, was horribly generic, maybe even annoying. It seems as if it was made by the interns at Pixar because we cannot believe how one of their movies could be so dreadfully dull. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> how ridiculous would that be? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.